When I'm working my horse, I always think about what the judges are looking for. You know, form always comes first. I make sure that I try to keep the horse square with the cow. Square meaning that parallel with that cow. I try not to let the hip kick away. I try not let to let the front kind of flop into the cow, but I try to keep the horse square. Most of the time when I'm working my horse, I, I work them with two hands on the mechanical cow. I try not to just work with one hand, letting the horse make mistakes, but I keep a little hold of my horse and I flex them at the pole just a little bit so that they stay soft when they do their stop. So I kind of work the cow like this, where I usually start dead straight at the cow, and I work the cow, oh, about 12 feet, 15 feet or so from the cow. I don't get right up on the cow because I want that room to work up or back away from that cow. That's real important for me. And I'll step up a little bit toward it like I'm cutting that cow, and then I'll break that horse off. If I didn't feel that horse move properly, because what the judges really want to see, they want to see you ride up to that cow, and when the cow goes to move, you put your hand down and break off. What I do to get this horse thinking like that is sometimes I'll, I'll walk, walk up to the cow, I'll back up a step, and then I'll go catch the cow and stop my horse. One of the things in training that I've learned that it's better to let the cow stop your horse. If you go across there and you go boom, and really be strong with your hands, stopping your horse, you're gonna get the horse stiffened up, you're gonna haul their back out, you're never gonna get their form right like the judges really wanna see. Right here, I wanna be have that head down, I want the cow to move first. That's very important when training the horse is that it's always the cow moves, then the horse reacts or doesn't react, and then the rider does what he needs to do to correct the horse or just ride the horse properly. That's exactly what I want to do here. I usually want to just hold this horse still, let the cow move, let the horse react, and then I'll react. Let the cow move, let the horse react, and then I'll just ride with it. And when I work this mechanical cow and I'm thinking about what the judges are looking for, I can also be warming the horse up at the same time. I can stay in form like this with a little bit of flexibility. I can back that horse a step, teaching him to draw through that turn, go straight across the pen, stop, draw that horse back, go straight across that pen, and stop. With the cow track, it gives me the advantage because it's so smooth. So I can hold this horse here. I can kind of get his attention a little bit on that cow. And right here, I can say, wait, wait. Then I can step him back up again. And I can put the weight in the horse because the judges want to see that horse come up behind that cow. They don't want to see that horse jump ahead of the cow and then me get way out here and lean back and be looking at the cow like this. You want to stay with that flag or the cow right here, right at that horse's shoulder. So I like to have my horse a little bit, uh, just a little bit ahead of the cow. That way I teach my horse to look back at the cow a little bit. And sometimes I'll go ahead and, and make a false move on the cow, meaning like this. I'll sit here like this and I'll go ahead and move the cow a little bit. And then I'll say, move back over here. Now let's get better square. And then I'll move back with the cow again and move back over here, get real square and see if he'll take this turn just a little bit nicer. One of the distinct advantages of using the cow track is that I can sit here as long as I want. That cow doesn't move. And I make sure that I'm in position, I let the cow move, and then I go catch up. Let the cow move, and then I go catch up. And that keeps the horse on their hocks. And when we're talking about what the judges really want to see, is we want to see that horse land stop square. We don't want to see them land stop sideways. We want to see them stop square so that they stay sound. I think it helps the horse's soundness a lot when a horse stops square rather than on one hock. 
or uh, a lot of horses will stop kicking their hip away from the cow a little bit. And when they do, think of that stress on that one hock when they have to push off of that one leg. When I'm also working my horse, I always want to teach that horse to draw back and load up on their hocks because if that horse turns and lands on its front, it's so hard on their front legs when, I, when they turn and flop their front end down and have to use those front legs to push off. We really want a horse to do what I call pedestal, means work off their hind legs. They're actually like on their hocks like this, rotating on their hocks. The hocks and the hips of the horse is obviously the bigger, stronger part. So another thing about what the judges look for is they look for that horse's attentiveness on a cow. What's interesting, today's cattle are different than when I started cutting. These cattle run and they usually, the best thing you can have your horse doing is running and stopping straight with the cow. That little, all that play and that horse kind of actually kind of moving sort of sideways with that cow really doesn't cut it today in what we do. But so what we want to do is get that horse to go straight stop straight, turn straight. But we want to have expression on the cow. Expression meaning I want this horse's ears to be up and paying attention to the cow. Sometimes I do it like this. I drive the horse over here. By doing short little moves like that every now and then, it teaches the horse to really have that expression and look out at that cow and, and perk his ears up and get low, and I like that. But then I always go back to square again. I had head across the pen, stop square, hold that horse here, teach them to draw back on their hocks, teach them not to turn too quick. Today, we concentrate all the time on straight, and then bend with the cow. Straight, and then bend with the cow. Straight, and then bend with the cow. Pretty simple, pretty simple. The judges wanna see that horse even and square and very confident.